be able to drive public opinion and raise the profile and growth of our clients is, is it's huge. <laughs>
um, have built some great relationships with writers who and producers who call me just when they're looking for somebody and they just know that I'll be responsive and I've got I, even if it's not somebody on our client roster that I will get to them and I will help and to, for them to know that they have that resource is priceless you know you can do whatever it is that you're doing but if you don't have a publicist to bring that to the forefront and to tell everybody and to shed the light on it then it's great that you're doing it but you've got such limited reach let's bring this back to leap students okay we have leap students that are watching this and students. if they're interested in going into PR what are your recommendations? How do they do, how they start, how they get an internship? Boom, 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 boom. So one of, the, a couple of things I always recommend to the LEAVE students every year at the Mentor Roundtable is informational interviews. I think that they are key. When you're a student and you, you're maybe during your, this, your school year, you don't have time to do an internship just yet, um, seek out industry, like if you're interested in public relations, but maybe you're interested in fashion, or you're interested in food and lifestyle or music, find publicists that do what it is that you would want to do and ask them for 30 minutes of their time. Most people are more than happy to talk about themselves and they'll, you'll be surprised that they'd be willing to give you their time. Ask them questions that Dr. Bill is asking. How did you get, how did you start? What did you do? What route did you take? Um, and get an understanding of what their day-to-day -day looks like. What is it that they actually do in that position in that industry? The second thing that is huge and it's key, internships. Internships, internships, all day long, every year. Do them from high school um, through college, every semester that you can and have off. And don't just go in one day a week. Take, do two to three days a week, full days, because that will give you a real understanding of what it's like in the day-to-day -day workings of an office. And keep in mind that you've got to think of the office space and environment so you may really be passionate about tech or about health and medical like we are our company is but you may not like the office environment and you shouldn't let that deter you from taking another internship in PR because you know you really want to get the most experience that you can um, and internships are the best way to do that all right last question what's next well I really believe that you need to have a goal and a map for how you're gonna get there. And so my goal for myself and my company is to be the top and the best in health and medical PR and communications firm. And we're working towards that. Okay, then I lied. One more question. <laughs> what are you doing specifically to make that happen? That's a great question. Dr. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I am continuing to immerse myself in the industry and look at what's ahead and what's next in health and medical, um, where things are cutting edge, where they're, where the industry is going towards so that I can be ahead of that curve, and um, expanding the types of clients that we work with so awesome. that we can be in that position. And if students out there want to contact you directly, what's the best way? Um, by email. And it's Candice, C-A-N-D-I-S, at spotlightcomgroup.com. And we'll put it on a little camera on there so that we can see it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love this woman. She's amazing. She's not just a great too. publicist. She's a great friend. She's part of my family and um, is a too. big, big part of, of, of my success. So um, with that, part of it. <laughs> Dr. Bill, over and out. Thank <laughs> you.